Hey guys, how are you doing? It's Catherine and I wanted to make a quick video because we have an awesome announcement today. The announcement is that issue number two of our Tangerine is published today on my Gumroad at catherine.gumroad.com. There it is. So there are two versions of the Tangerine. The first one here, uh, this one is absolutely free. This is the standard magazine, including the TT file, which has all the projects that are in the magazine that you can import into Tangent Templates. Absolutely free. The second version includes 60 JPEG images that are full page size that you can include in any of your projects, whether you're making KDP books or whether you're making printables. So if you want to support the Tangerine or if you just want those images because they're pretty awesome, they're divided into three categories. We've got Summer Nights, which has this cool kind of like 80s pixely game vibe. We also have um, the Bling, which is a sort of kitsch pink sparkly set or we have this really cool roses set which is like chunky painted roses so three really different styles of images there so you can grab those as well so again there's two versions of the magazine there's the free version here you can pay what you want if you want to put in a small donation and buy us a coffee thank you i like coffee very very much uh if you just want to get the one with the images Again, $10. So thank you very much for supporting the Tangerine. Last month, you guys gave us amazing feedback. Thank you so, so much for that. We were really bowled over by how many of you downloaded the magazine, checked it out, and all the amazing feedback that came from you. I'm really glad you're enjoying it, and I hope you get as much enjoyment from issue two. So let's take a quick look at what is inside. So the front cover is actually one of the summer night images that is included in the image pack with the $10 version of the magazine. There's also a back cover. Let's skip to the back and you can see there's another of these cool images there. So uh, that's the cover of the magazine. And then we have a welcome message. And I was going to include a selfie with Isaac and Zippy. But logistical reasons made that very difficult, basically because we're working very hard and didn't have time to take a selfie. And also Zippy drools on me every time I try to take a selfie with him. So instead, you get the alternate reality Catherine riding on a Newfie, which doesn't really look like me, but it does look quite like Zippy. So uh, there you go. So then we have the contents page, which is fairly self-explanatory. You can see this background here is part of the bling image pack so if you do get the image pack this is kind of a good way that you can use it you can put an image behind a filled box like this and just bring that opacity down a bit so it's sort of semi-transparent and I really like that design style I think it works really really well in books and workbooks as well especially if you're making color books so the first real page of the magazine is summer notions so last month we called them spring spirations Oh, I said it right this time. Okay, so we had Spring Inspirations last month and Summer Notions this month. Oh my gosh, it feels dangerous saying it again. It's like that guy that like walked across the skyscrapers in New York and he had such a good time doing it one way, like on a tightrope. And he had such a good time doing it one way that he went back the other way. And I think he did it like six times. So that's slightly like me saying spring inspirations over and over again um anyway so this month we, we have summer notions and the idea of this is they're just nice quotes thoughts that kind of get your brain ticking like a little bit poetic things like freedom tastes like salt water air summer is a season of joy ride the summer waves sandy trails lead to serene retreats and the idea of this is just to get you sort of thinking of the visuals of summer, the senses of summer, what it smells like, what it feels like to be on the beach or to be on a sandy trail. I love that, a sandy trail. Or looking at the summer sky, uh, being sun-kissed, all of those things. 
let that inspire you for your journals, for your planners over the summer. Maybe if you're making travel journals, cruise journals, something like that. These give you some ideas both for the kind of wording you can use and also for the kind of visuals that you might want to include in your book. So uh, summer notions just to give you a bit of inspiration there. So then we have our first niche hunt, our niche treasure hunt in the magazine. And the first one is themed around summer weddings because people are really thinking about weddings around this time of year. And I thought these ideas would be really, really good for brainstorming pages that you might want to include in a wedding planner or make printable. And what I like to do with this is just sort of look at them and see what kind of words jump out at me. Like I see guest book there and creating a guest book for a wedding would be an awesome book to make. And if we read on a little bit in the magazine, you're going to see that I talk about niching weddings and a niched guest book would be a fantastic product to create either for KDP or maybe as a printable product. So guest books stood out to me. I also I see cocktail up there at the top and that makes me think uh, tangent templates. We actually have the wine review page could easily adapt for cocktails, perhaps. Again, you can edit any of our templates by just clicking uh, ungroup from the arrange tab. And then you could go in here and you could change this to be like cocktail name. And instead of it being a wine review, it can be a cocktail review. So you can go in and change any of this. You can change out that image and put in whatever you want there. So that one also stood out to me that there's cocktail there. I see a few other things. I see things like hymns. That's kind of an interesting page for a wedding planner. That makes me think about maybe a service book, like an order of service for a wedding. That would be kind of a cool customizable thing to create for something like Etsy. Maybe a customised wedding service. That would be kind of an interesting idea to do. Uh, I see playlist. That's a simple page that you can make for a wedding planner. The kind of music that's going to be played. I see calligraphy, which leads on to other things in the uh, Tangerine because we talk about calligraphy a little bit further on. But this is just a really good sort of inspirational page to get some ideas for what you're going to include in uh, wedding books or planners. And I've also put some style tips on here. So I've given you all the colors that I've used uh, and you have the hex codes for them and also the fonts that I used here. These are actually clickable. I'm not sure if the ones on the other one are clickable. I think I messed up and didn't make them clickable, but these are clickable and they will take you to Google fonts where you can go and find them just by typing in the names of the fonts. And of course you can download those fonts and import them into Tangent templates. So let's see what I said about weddings. The key thing I said about weddings, and guys, if you've been watching my classes for a while, this is something we've talked about a lot, is that people are different all over the world, all over America, even all over your city or your town. People are probably very, very different. People have different religions, different interests, different languages, uh, different outlooks on life, different hobbies, just so many ways people are different, different ambitions, different goals, different pathways. And what I notice when I go to like Barnes and Noble or uh, I, I go in sort of a stationery store, Weddings always seem to kind of be on one note. They always seem to be this very um, like white and teal and pink look with rings and flowers. And it's very generic is what I notice. And I think that people like to have interesting weddings that suit their personality. And I know, especially people I know, they and maybe maybe I have strange friends, but I don't think I have strange friends. I think I have a really cool mix of friends. Um, but I've seen people have like pirate weddings, fantasy weddings. If they play Dungeons and Dragons or fantasy games, they might include their pets. And it's not always like young single people that get married. Like often you have older couples, you have uh, couples with children, with adult children, with pets. They want to include all their pets in the wedding. Like there are so many family dynamics and people dynamics. And I think there aren't nearly enough planners and wedding books that cater to them. So I think this is a huge uh, collection of niches that you can absolutely tap into with your books. 
So what I've done in the magazine is I've included a couple of pages for this. One page is the ways we are unique. So I just broke this down into a few categories of like what what makes us all unique as people? Well, I just talked about family dynamics. Another one is the challenges that people face. And I think this very much has an effect on weddings and the types of weddings that people are having. Like if someone's in recovery, they might not want to have a ton of alcohol at the wedding. Um, if people are on a budget, then that will affect how their wedding is going to go. If someone's dealing with an illness or a disability, then maybe that might be an issue that could be addressed in a book. Like, how are you going to make the wedding more accessible? Maybe on a cake, if, if you have a bride or a groom who's in a wheelchair, for example, that might want to be reflected on the cake. Maybe you want to reflect that in wedding stationery. Like, that could be kind of an amazing niche, um, making wedding stationery, especially I'm thinking printables here, uh, but making wedding stationery for people who are dealing with a disability or chronic illness. Occupation. That might affect weddings. Um, people who are in the military might have quite different weddings from maybe an academic or an entrepreneur or someone who works outside. And teachers. I think there might be scope for like gifts from children for teachers who are getting married. That can make a good printable. So another thought there. And then I break into subcultures and interests. So all kinds of things. You can really drill down on any of these, like particular books or shows, historical reenactments, steampunk, uh, collections. I mean, people have all kinds of collections. And back in my day when I was going to a lot of estate sales, I saw some crazy collections. There's like people who have a whole house full of frogs or pigs or whatever weird thing they're into someone's obsessed if they live their life obsessed with something that's probably going to show up in their wedding too and they're going to want to celebrate that um and also different subcultures people who live like maybe mindful lifestyles or people with specific dietary choices like vegans um or people who are super fit like crossfit and keto and all of that stuff so there's a lot of ways to really niche wedding planners and also i put another page in here which is themes for wedding planners. So just some sort of less traditional themes that you might want to visually put into your wedding planners. So another kind of brainstorming page there. Like how cool would it be to have circus themes or roaring 20s theme or day of the dead or as I said pirates or rainbow theme with rainbows and unicorns. I had my little ponies at my wedding. Uh, I got married to Isaac on the beach in Coronado and it was so fun. We had a, a My Little Pony cake. It was really, really cute. Um, happy days. And then I give you a couple of examples of some themed wedding stationery. So this is just a checklist that you can fill out with the names of the people you've sent invitations to. This is kind of steampunk themed. It's got the roses and the clocks behind it. And then I did a gothic seating plan. Uh, once upon a time in my life, I would have probably loved a gothic wedding. Uh, a little less on the goth side now, but I, th I think that was pretty cool. I, I, I like the whole goth thing. So I made a classy gothic themed wedding planner example. And what I included here was a seating plan. So it has the head table and it has some guest tables. You, you'll find this in the TT file. If you're not sure how to import your TT file, it's just here. Right, it says TT file. You just click there and you can import your TT file and you'll be able to play with these here. That's uh, some neat looking stationery there. And of course you can edit this, change it, give it different fonts, anything you like there. Another way I've seen people do seating plans is that you put the initials of the guest on the uh, seats. So if you're putting that in your planner, you might want to include some instructions. So then we have another niche treasure hunt. This one is themed summer nights. And I love these fonts. The over the rainbow and the cranky fonts are really fun. Cranky looks looks kind of like a chalkboard, I guess. It looks like writing on a chalkboard to me. And I really like that style. Um, yeah, I the Ranger is clicky. Uh, the Over the Rainbow and the Cranky, I forgot to add the clickiness, sorry. But you can just go to uh, Google Fonts and just type uh, Cranky or Over the Rainbow and you'll find it. There it is. So you can just go here and what you're going to do is just click Download Family. There's your zip file with Cranky in it. You're going to open it up 
and then you're going to install the font like that and then when you go to tangent templates you can just click on a text object and say upload a font and it should be in your downloads so you can just click there and there's your font and so if I say open boom it's popped up in tangent templates and now I can change that so it's that quick and easy to install a font and that will just stay there for you to use in all of your projects so there's the summer niche treasure hunt and again it's just like the uh, wedding one it's there to give you ideas for maybe books that you might like to create I mean like I see heartbeat and I think of maybe a couple's heartbeat that would be kind of a fun sort of couples book to write together where maybe you have a couple and they can write about their summer memories or their summer romance or their thoughts um, like our heartbeat that's kind of a nice poetic sort of title I see fire pit there and I think maybe you could have fire pit recipes like different kinds of s'mores like could you get creative with s'mores and make a book about it that would be fun uh, I see citronella and I think about I don't know, nights sitting out by like a tiki bar and the uh, flames and the citronella smell. I love the idea of tiki printables with like tiki torches. I think that would look pretty cool. And again, I've included the style for this. So you've got all the color palettes that I used here and you have the fonts. And then next we have a tangent templates hidden gem. So let's go back to the TT file and look at this. So all of these are actually just shapes from tangent templates. And I just wanted to show you how versatile these are. If we add a new page and we go to shapes, you can see all the cool shapes here. So let's just take this heart, for example, and I'll make it big so we can work with it. So you can, first of all, you can change the color and put any color in there that you like. Um, if you don't like that red, you know, you can actually click on the uh, swatch here and customize it to anything you like there. So you can, you've got full control over what color you want to put in here. Uh, you can also, of course, use any of our palettes. So I'm going to click over to, we've got the, the pretty pastels there. You can choose a different palette if you want. Let's use Sahara maybe. And I'm going to pick that uh, sort of pinky red. And then you can go to border and add in a border color. So let's give it a darker red. Oh, it's like when you do lip liner in the old days and you had the darker lip liner around the lipstick. Um, I never did that. I was really bad at lip liner. Um, there we go. So I'm adding uh, a bit of thickness to that. And now let's, let's make it blue. That looks cool. So you can do things like that. Of course, you can turn off the fill as well. So if you don't want the fill, you can turn that off um, or we can just put it back there. And another nice thing you can do with this is make dotted lines around the outside. You can have like big chunky dotted lines or little tiny dots. So that's pretty customizable too. And you get different effects if you turn the fill off there. So you can do that. So you can see what I've done here. Uh, I've put clip art into the shapes. Oh, I've actually grouped these, so uh, I'd have to ungroup that. But you can see that's just a hexagon with a border and fill. And this one here, I put the little doggy. This is just a heart with white fill and a dotted line around it. Or you can put text in it here. And this one's actually two shapes. So I have the uh, teardrop with a dotted line there. And then underneath it, I just put another uh, image as a shadow. So you can really play around with shapes. I think the shapes are a bit of a hidden gem and there's more to them than it looks. So there you go. Have fun playing with shapes in tangent templates. Then page 13 is a blatant plug for my beautiful image packs. Um, a lot of you have been giving great feedback, especially on the rose gold one. I, I've heard a few of you really like the rose gold, which has gold and pink hearts. So there's the image packs there. You can go and grab them from my Gumroad. There they are. There's the gold one, the machine and the starlight. And what's nice about these is they are a mix of background images, and also like edge pieces, sidebars and uh, top headers and footers. And they're really cool because they can be added to a journal, they can be added to a planner. Now page 14, that's trends that are popular at the moment. So we talk about mushrooms. Oh my gosh, guys, mushrooms 
everywhere at the moment. It is just a thing. A lot of it's functional mushrooms, which are legal as far as I'm aware. Things like reishi and lion's mane, those are really, really popular. I'm not really sure what they're supposed to do, make you have big brain or like good health or something, but people are really into functional mushrooms. There's also an activist movement around the legalization of psilocybin, which is like basically the psychedelic ingredient in magic mushrooms. So um, whatever your feelings on that, that's another trend that's coming up. And also people just like mushrooms, like just regular edible mushrooms that you can eat. You can make mushroom grow logs, you can make mushroom recipes, mushroom aesthetics and themes. So if you download the TT file, you can use this cool mushroom picture for anything you like as well. So there's a little bonus mushroom picture there. So then we talk about TT Turbo and TT Turbo is our new addition to Tangent Templates, which is just the most crazy, powerful, awesome thing ever. It allows you to import data into Tangent Templates and it puts that data throughout the book, allowing you to generate a guided journal, a planner, a recipe book, a joke book, a workbook, all kinds of books. You can create them pretty much on the fly using data that you either have in a spreadsheet that you've created in a spreadsheet or that you've got from ChatGPT. Whoa. And again, I always recommend hand curating any content from ChatGPT and editing it. But I'm going to show you a trick in a moment to get unique awesome content from ChatGPT. So stay tuned because I'm going to talk about that in a moment. But TT Turbo is our brand new tool. This talks a little bit about it and it gives you a link to my other video about TT Turbo. And I strongly recommend watching the video about TT Turbo because it walks through a whole bunch of these projects. And there's also an accompanying book that you can download from my Gumroad for free that has some projects too. So if you wanna learn more about Turbo, do check that out. Now, here is a project that you can do with Turbo. So hand lettering books, I don't know if you've seen them, but hand lettering and calligraphy books are just huge at the moment. They're also huge in printables. Like I see them on Etsy, I see them on KDP. I'm sure they're on a lot of other sites. People are creating hand lettering books. And one of the things I see people doing is putting affirmations, positive thoughts, so that each day, not only are you practicing your letters and practicing your calligraphy, but you're also thinking happy, positive thoughts. So I have a tutorial here for how you can do that in Turbo. And in fact, I can run through this very, very quickly. So what you do is you get your project and I've actually included these right here in uh, the TT file. So you can just grab this and put it in your project and use this. You don't even have to lay it out yourself. I actually put the prompt here that you need to just get basic affirmations. Now I suggest you mix this up and if you read on, you're going to see how I suggest mixing it up to get more original and creative affirmations. But I suggest adding maybe a little bit of uh, modification to this so you get more original affirmations. But we'll just go with this for now. So what I'm going to do is paste that prompt into ChatGPT. And it's going to create, hopefully, a table of affirmations that are broken into three sections. Column one, column two, column three. So these are perfect. Uh, I choose to embrace positivity in all situations. So this prompt specifically asks ChatGPT to break the affirmations into three columns. And honestly, this is enough for me to demo it to you. So I'm just going to stop it there and I'm going to grab those top rows and I'm going to go back to tangent templates. So we're going to create a new project. I'm going to say yes to bleed and start the new project. And then what I'm going to do is just click the rocket ship and we should find our project in hand lettering here. Now I'm going to go over to TT Turbo and paste in the data. OK, column one, column two, column three and add fields to the page. Now we don't actually need these extra fields because I've already added them to the page. One thing to check, just make sure that you've capitalized column uh, if 
it has this capitalized here. Just make sure that the capital letters here on column one, column two match with these ones, column one, column two. And in fact, I think these need a space in them as well. So I'm just going to ungroup this template. Did you see what I did there? I just clicked the arrange tab. Uh, so I was here, I clicked the arrange tab and ungrouped it. And I'm just going to put a space in here to make sure these all match up. Otherwise, it won't be able to uh, do the update properly. So just make sure your headers here. Oops, and let's stretch that out. Make sure your headers here match the headers in Turbo. Otherwise, it won't work. So when we're ready to go, we're going to say create new pages, add content on both sides, and it's going to pull everything from page one, which is what we're on at the moment. So it's going to basically replicate everything on page one, but with new content on each page. So let's hit import text and let it do its thing. OK, great. So this has actually gone on to a second line. No biggie. We can fix that. Just have a quick look through and make sure nothing else has done that. The rest all look good. And there it is. There is our hand lettering page all done. And what I actually do with the text is I make it gray because people are probably going to want to write over the gray. So they're kind of going to trace that. What I recommend if you want to make this really pro and look really awesome is that you include different fonts because I think people like to try out different fonts. And you can make this like a daily book. So each day they have a new affirmation to write. So you can make like, like a 30 day book or a 90 day book or you could do it on a theme. So you could have hand lettering practice. I know you could have sweary hand lettering. You could have jokey hand lettering. Like there's all kinds of things you can do there. Um, or you can make it about a certain thing. You could make like piggy hand lettering and just be like, I love pink piggies. They're really cute. Or I love green frogs. Or every day my heart goes ribbit. Um, so you can niche these to whatever um, interest or hobby or um, theme that you like. So there you go. There's another thing you can do there. So to make your book more interesting, people often like to practice different sort of styles, different lettering. So what you can do is just select the text. You can go and just change the font here, or you can go to Google Fonts and install new fonts. So what you can do is actually search for script, and that gives you some fonts that are a bit more sort of fun for writing with there. Page 21 that says, have you caught my latest videos? They are here on this channel. We have two recent ones that I think are really cool. We've got the video that's all about TT Turbo that walks through all my projects there. And then we have a building a weekly picture planner where I show how you can use picture book and Turbo together to create a really awesome looking weekly planner. So there's a couple of videos for you to check out there. And guys, I know a lot of you are asking me about mid journey. I am going to do a mid journey video very, very shortly. It is like next on my list. I just really wanted to make the video for the magazine first because we put that out today. So I just wanted to stay on track with that. But we do have mid journey stuff on the way because I know a lot of you are really, really excited about it. And I made all the images for uh, this Tangerine with Midjourney. So it is a really, really cool system. So then we come to this and this guys, I think is so, so powerful. This is my magic formula of the month. And this is actually a chat GPT series of prompts that really follow a formula. And what they do is they create unique and niched affirmations that you can include in your hand lettering books, in planners, in journal pages, anything you can think of where you want affirmations, positive thoughts, um, happy, encouraging messages. This is how you get them. You really are going to choose who you want to make your book for. So let's see. Stay at home moms. Let's do single parents. Give me 25 empowering affirmations for single parents. Use a resilient, stand strong tone of voice. Focus on building confidence and overcoming challenges. So I'm going to paste that into chat GPT. So there it is. It is creating some very interesting and unique affirmations. And the reason they're unique is because there are so many variables here. They are empowering affirmations. They're for single parents. They have a resilient stand strong tone of voice and they have a focus, confidence and overcoming challenges. And that combination creates 
unique affirmations like I doubt anyone else well unless they're reading the magazine um is using that same prompt and what I would recommend is actually taking these prompts and just changing it out a bit put your own adjectives in put your own target audience in there um maybe your own tone of voice your own focus but if you make your prompt unique then the chances are that the content that comes back to you from chat gpt is going to be unique as well and there's some great ones here i am the architect of my family's future and i will build a solid foundation for us awesome so what you can do is paste these into turbo and use them in your planners use them in your journals i hope that that magic formula is really powerful for you i hope you can adapt it for whatever you're doing and create as many affirmations as you like so there's 20 versions of that here and they're really interesting like really cool ones give me 25 steadfast affirmations from military spouses use a brave stand by your side tone of voice focus on staying strong during deployments and transitions so again very very specific that's going to get you very unique content there so then lastly i have a june july calendar that just gives you some fun days that maybe you want to make a book for them maybe you just want to be inspired by them or think about whether there's something you can do with those like sunglasses day that's so fun a sunglasses journal i just picture a big pair of sunglasses on the cover really colorful international yoga day oh my gosh yoga is great for journals people like to track their classes their progress the kind of exercises they're doing keep track of those so yoga is a great one international asteroid day kids like asteroids and space national kitten day and oh an independence day that's a big one um so yeah things happening in july also my birthday's in july i should have put that there but it is the international day of friendship and you're all my friends so there we go uh <laughs> moving on at the end there is a message tangent templates it is an awesome collection of tools and templates for creating high quality kdp books it includes turbo it includes the listing helper it has 130 templates that you can use in all the standard kdp trim sizes you can use all my cool tt files with all the images like there's so much you can uh, do with tangent templates i can't even start but you can create all kinds of books for kdp so there you go and then lastly don't forget to grab the tt file so when you downloaded this magazine the tt file should have been with it on gumroad and then there's my beautiful picture to see you out so again you can go and get the magazine from gumroad it's at katherine.gumroad.com and you can grab the magazine on its own or with the jpeg images so i hope you really enjoy the magazine let me know what you think we're hopefully going to bring another one out to you next month in june you guys have been giving me so much great feedback on these if you keep enjoying the magazine we'll keep bringing it out for you so let me know what you're doing with this as well i would love to hear of any books that you make that are inspired by this come and share them in the facebook group talk about them i hope you have tons of fun with this and i hope you have an amazing week don't forget please if you're enjoying these videos um like the video hit subscribe ring the bell so you get notifications when i make more videos that way you won't miss anything we do all right have a good one guys bye